today we're learning the basics of accounting the very basics on which a whole accounting is dependent or we follow the accounting principles first of all we need to understand the different types of account so there are different types of account types of account so types of account we have two main categories of account one is personal account and second is impersonal account in personal account again we have three categories over here one is natural personal account then we have artificial personal account we have artificial personal account and then we have representative personal account so what are natural personal accounts natural persons like me and you are natural personal accounts like sachin ramesh tendulkar mukesh ambani kapil dev narendra modi mahesh kulkarni alia bhat so these are the examples of national personal accounts now what is artificial personal accounts all those companies we have created by human beings ya dikani manwani je ka ya dikani company banavla ahe te artificial personal accounts ahe ya dikani state bank of india hi artificial personal account ahe dev road cantonment board asel then pune cantonment board asel pimpri chinchwad municipal corporation asel reliance industries limited asel tata motors limited company asel दगडूशेट हलवाई गणपती ट्रस्ट असेल लोकमान्य ब्लड बँक असेल डॉक्टर डी वाय पाटील हॉस्पिटल किंवा कॉलेज असेल सो दिस आर ऑल एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल पर्सनल अकाउंट सो नॅचरल नॅचरल पर्सनल अकाउंट्स आर ऑल नॅचरल बायोलॉजिकल पर्सन लाईक रमेश तेंडुलकर मुकेश अंबानी कपिल देव नरेंद्र मोदी महेश कुलकर्णी आलिया भट दर माधुरी दीक्षित अँड सो ऑन दर वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल आर्टिफिशियल इज दॅट these are been created by law state bank of india dev road cantonment board pune cantonment board pimpri road municipal corporation reliance industries limited tata motors limited the gurushet halwai ganpati trust lokpanya blood bank dr dy patil college yes post office that also comes under artificial personal account then what is representative personal representative accounts is capital account drawings outstanding expenses income received in advance are examples of personal representative accounts so personal accounts are three natural artificial and representative then in impersonal we have two accounts and what are the two accounts we have hello nobody or only you one second let me check let me check hello can you hear me all of you students yes sir hello students are you able to hear me yes sir omkar yes sir omkar yes sir hello yes sir you can hear me yes sir i can hear you okay. yes sir you are audible sir you are audible thank you thank you okay so then in per in personal accounts we have two one is your real account and second is your nominal account we are learning today basics of accounts and in that there are different types of account in that first is personal account and second is personal account in personal account we have natural uh natural accounts like 
रमेश तेंदुलकर सचिन तेंदुलकर मुकेश अंबानी कपिल देव नरेंद्र मोदी महेश कुलकर्णी आलिया भट माधुरी दीक्षित दिस ऑल पीपल्स नेम वेल बी राइट इन अकाउंट विल बी नैचुरल पर्सनल अकाउंट then this people have created some companies or people have created companies this companies will be called as artificial personal accounts and they are state bank of india devrud cantonment board uh, then we have uh, pune cantonment board pcmc reliance industries tata motors limited uh, the gurushet halwa ganpati trust lok panya blood bank dr dy patil college hospital post office these are examples of personal artificial accounts then we are we are uh, discussing about personal representative then the capital account drawings account outstanding expenses income received in advance are examples of personal representative accounts then we, in personal we have real accounts and nominal accounts so what are real accounts real accounts again we have in two categories one is tangible and second is intangible in real we have tangible accounts and we have intangible accounts real accounts are asset accounts real accounts are asset accounts all those accounts all those things which we can touch and where we open the account in the books of account are called real tangible like we open account of plant and machinery we can touch plant and machinery we can touch land and building we can touch cash we can touch stock that is long raw material of goods so these are examples of tangible real assets ja vastu la apun hat lav shakto jacha account account pure create kela jato जस लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग प्लांट एंड मशीनरी कैश स्टॉक फर्निचर मोटर कार टूल्स इक्विपमेंट आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ रियल टैंजिबल अकाउंट्स एंड व्हाट इज एन रियल इंटैंजिबल एसेट्स बट व्हिच वी कैन नॉट टच बट व्हिच हैज गॉट अ वैल्यू आर रियल इंटैंजिबल अकाउंट्स फर्स्ट इज गुडविल देन वी हैव ट्रेड मार्क देन वी हैव ट्रेड मार्क वी हैव copyrights royalties patents sorry patents are the examples of intangible real assets these assets are there but we cannot touch them but they got a value they got a value they got a value in the business and that's why they are called as real intangible so real account is a asset account asset which we can touch are tangible assets which we cannot touch but has got value are intangible assets then nominal account in nominal account what we have is two type of two type of things one is your expenses and second is your income so nominal account is taking care of all the expenses that are occurring in the business and we are noting down in the business so what are the expenses that are happening in the uh, business what are the expenses we always have to pay is the telephone bill the light bill and uh, the wages that we have to pay the interest these are the expenses so whatever expenses we incur in a business are your nominal account falls under nominal account the expenses that we incur in our business like we pay for raw material that is purchases we pay for telephone we pay for So we pay interest we pay wages we pay salaries we pay postage telegrams or are examples of expenses and that will come under the nominal account category and then losses happening because of theft because of fire are examples of losses in the business ya dikani vyavsay madhe kay nuksan honar ahe nuksan kashya mane honar ahe ya dikani factory madhe chukun aag lagnar ahe tat apla mal jalnar ahe to to loss by fire kay nominal account ahe any asset we are selling less than the face value is again loss in the business if we have a motor vehicle or motor car of 10000 and if if you are selling the same at 8000 that is 2000 rupees loss you are incurring so that loss on sale of asset is your nominal account so all expenses and losses will be coming under the category of nominal accounts and in the same account then we will be focusing all the incomes that we generating in the business आपल्या व्यवसायामध्ये होणार जो उत्पन्न आहे जो रेव्हेन्यू आपण कलेक्ट करतो तो तुमचं नॉमिनल अकाउंट मध्ये जाणार आहे मग या ठिकाणी व्हॉट इज द टाइप ऑफ इन्कम्स यू हॅव यू रिसीव इंटरेस्ट यू गेट डिस्काउंट यू गेट डिव्हिडंड यू अर्न मनी बाय वेल ऑफ सेल्स इज एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉमिनल अकाउंट सो नॉमिनल अकाउंट हॅज टू पार्ट वन इज एक्सपेन्सेस अँड वन इज इन्कम सो इन्कम बाय वे ऑफ रिसिव्हिंग इंटरेस्ट डिव्हिडंड डिस्काउंट सेल्स कमिशन are examples of income accounts 
and gains is also there so if you are selling any asset at a profit that is called a gain so that will come under lobbed account so in accounts what we have seen today there are two types of account uh, that is a personal and impersonal in accounts there are three accounts one is personal account then real account and then nominal account tasa pahila gele ta accounts mede teen prakar cha accounts ahet personal account real account ani nominal account so i am going to revise this in a different fashion now again for you please pay attention real personal nominal real personal and nominal yes first is personal account personal account refers to all accounts of the persons or companies we open in the books of account आपल्या अकाउंटच्या बुक्स मध्ये या ठिकाणी व्यक्तीच्या नावाने किंवा एखाद्या कंपनीच्या नावाने संस्थेच्या नावाने जे आपण अकाउंट करतो आपण पर्सनल अकाउंट करतो लाईक वी एक्झाम्पल इज रिलायन्स इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड अकाउंट इज पर्सनल अकाउंट दॅन महिंद्रा अँड महिंद्रा लिमिटेड इज पर्सनल अकाउंट स्टेट बँक ऑफ इंडिया इज पर्सनल अकाउंट सुनील वंजारे सर इज युअर पर्सनल अकाउंट सचिन तेंडुलकर इज युअर पर्सनल अकाउंट आलिया भट इज युअर पर्सनल अकाउंट माधुरी दीक्षित इज युअर पर्सनल अकाउंट महेंद्र सिंग धोनी इज युअर पर्सनल अकाउंट सो ऑल दॅट पर्सन बाय आर्टिफिशियल ऑर नॅचरल आर कमिंग इन द कॅटेगरी ऑफ पर्सनल अकाउंट अँड देन वी हॅव सेकंड इज रिअल अकाउंट रिअल अकाउंट रिफर्स टू ऑल ॲसेट अकाउंट देन वी हॅव वॉट आर द ॲसेट्स वी हॅव इन बिझनेस वी हॅव लँड अँड बिल्डिंग ॲज वन ऑफ द मेन ॲसेट्स इन द बिझनेस सो लँड अँड बिल्डिंग इज अ रिअल अकाउंट then in the land and building we have installed plant and we have machinery also so plant and machinery is also your real account then we have furniture in the business that is also we can touch so that is a real account so land and building plant and machine furniture motor car computer goodwill which we cannot touch but is asset comes under the real real account category goodwill trademark patents copyrights are examples of real accounts so real account like we have two one which we can touch and one with other is what we cannot touch so the all assets which with our all accounts which we can touch and feel are real tangible accounts and that includes your land and building plant and machine furniture cash motor car computers equipments all loose tools comes under the category of real tangible assets and then last we have is nominal account lastly we have is nominal account so in nominal account what all things comes under this nominal account students all the expenses that we incur in a business falls under the category of nominal nominal account expenses like we pay for the raw material we purchase raw material so purchases is a nominal account then wages is a nominal account interest that you pay is a nominal account you you pay for postage and telegram is your nominal account you pay for printing and stationery is a nominal account you are paying the rent for the factory or office that is again nominal account because it's expense you are paying salaries to the staff that is also your nominal account you are paying for advertisement again it's a nominal account you are paying for transportation that is carriage freight import duty custom duty all comes under your nominal account so nominal account takes care of all the expenses at one time and also in nominal account we account for all the income the main income is that you produce you convert raw material to finished goods and we sell and the money that we receive is called as sales that is main revenue income we receive sales sales uh, we sell goods and we in, uh, earn in money that is sales is your income account that comes under your nominal account so sales is there we receive dividend we receive interest we receive commission we received rent we received profit on sale of asset profit on sale of assets these are all the examples of nominal account so in account there are three types of account one is personal account second is real account and third is nominal account now as per the accounting principles followed in the whole world we have all accepted some rules and which we follow globally and i'm going to write that rules please make a note of it 
So, what are the different types of rule? And we'll learn now. The golden rules that are followed throughout the world are summarized this way. So, for personal account, personal account, then we have real, and then we have nominal. In whole of the world, all of the companies, all the accountants are following some principles. And what is the principle? When we are when we are doing accounting for personal account, we follow a rule that is we have to debit the receiver. Debit the receiver. And then the second part of it is credit the giver. So this is the golden rule for personal account. To be Java accounting karat art students, the Tumala Java personal account she adikani kai nunni karachi sell accounting karta sell the jo vikti adikani kai was to get ahe, seva get ahe, telaka milatahe, jo receiver ahe, then a debit kala. Jo tadikani was to detahe, paise detahe, kai purva tassel, data sell, to ko telaka karacha credit karatahe. So the simple rule for personal account is debit the receiver and credit the giver. In real account, the rule is debit what comes in. Debit what comes in and credit what goes out is the golden rule for real account. Real account, debit what comes in, credit what goes out is the rule for real account. Kutlai account the real category with the Yadikani classify with the sale. The to be the account la kai debit karcha kai credit karcha ya sati fakta ek prashna sa uttar tumala sangla rahe kiti was to yeta hai kazata hai. If anything is coming in, we should debit that. If something is going out, we have to credit that item. That is the rule for accounting for real accounts. Then we talk about nominal accounts. Nominal account, the golden rule is debit all the expenses and losses. Debit all the expenses and losses. And create all the incomes and gains. Create all the incomes and gains. So this is the simple golden rules of accounting in personal debit the receiver credit the giver in real debit what comes in credit what goes out nominal debit all the expenses and losses and credit all the incomes and gains. If you apply this rule, then it will be very easy for you to do accounting debit and credit, whether you're from commerce student or non from non commerce background. So I'll take one simple example, how this rule gets applied applicable and everything. The ex transaction example is paid cash rupees 500 for telephone expense. You paid the telephone bill or you paid for telephone expenses. So this is a financial transaction. What is the financial transaction? Ekada vevara bade jeva ekadi vastu kiva seva yadi kadi vikad gena sati apun paise deto kiva geto then apun financial transaction mulu shakto. Anything bought or sold, whether for cash or credit, whether we are taking any services, that transaction is a financial transaction. In this transaction, financial transaction, there are two important aspects that are covering. One is the cash and second is telephone expense. So yeah, we were about the financial transaction with the guy ahead. He telephones a bill. Yeah, you got a partial fine upon pay kill. In this transaction, there are two components. One is cash and second is telephone expenses. Yeah, you got to be cash. La hap lao shakta. But you cash on the account a real tangible. And telephone expenses for the cards. A cards on the account a account a nominal account. It's a nominal account. So the rule for real account is debit. What comes in. Debit what comes in and credit what goes out. In nominal account, what is the rule? Debit all the expenses and losses and credit all the incomes and gains is the rule. Cash lapun hatlao shokta bulate konta account real tangible. Telephone ha kharcha hai bulate nominal account hai. So when we are paying telephone bill, in that case, cash is coming in or cash is going out, cash is coming in. telephone bill, so credit card. 
टेलिफोन एक्सपेन्सेस जेव्हा आपण टेलिफोन बिल भरतो तर आपलं इन्कम होत ते आपला खर्च होतो म्हणजे त्याला काय केलं पाहिजे एक्सपेन्सेस म्हणजे काय हे डेबिट आहे सो ऑटोमॅटिकली इफ यू सी वन डेबिट अँड वन क्रेडिट बिकॉज वी अप्लाईंग द गोल्डन रूल्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग वेन यू आर अप्लाईंग द गोल्डन रूल्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग ऑटोमॅटिकली यू गेट द करेक्ट आन्सर वन इज डेबिट अँड वन इज क्रेडिट कशाला डेबिट करायचा टेलिफोन एक्सपेन्सेसचा तर अकाउंटिंग मध्ये त्याची जल एंट्री अशी पास होईल इन अकाउंटिंग द एंट्री विल बी लाईक दिस टेलिफोन एक्सपेन्सेस अकाउंट डेबिट फाईव्ह हंड्रेड टू या ठिकाणी काय गेलेलं आहे कॅश गेलेली आहे टू कॅश फाईव्ह हंड्रेड ब्रॅकेट मध्ये बिंग टेलिफोन एक्सपेन्सेस पेड बिंग टेलिफोन बिल पेड इन कॅश सो दिस इज द अकाउंटिंग एंट्री फॉर एनी फायनान्शियल ट्रान्झॅक्शन फर्स्ट इज यू नीड टू अनालाइज द ट्रान्झॅक्शन find out what are the two components involved in the transaction underline the two components identify which account it relates to after you identify that which account it is then write the rule of the account golden rule debit what comes in credit what goes out same year debit all the expense losses and credit all the incomes and gains then analyze what is happening with that account if you are talking about we if you discussing about that this example wherein i have said paid cash 500 for telephone expenses in this i am trying to analyze whether cash is coming in or cash is going out so when i am paying a telephone bill 100% cash is going out so the account cash has to be created then when i am talking about telephone expenses it falls under nominal account category and the rule is debit all the expenses and losses credit all the incomes and gains now i'm imagining whether when i'm paying a telephone bill that means it is not a income for me but for me it is definitely expense so i have to debit the account so when you apply the rule deb- automatically one debit and another credit things happen so here so according to that we'll pass a journal entry and the journal entry will be telephone expenses account debit 500 to cash 500 and narration will be being telephone bill paid being telephone bill paid so this is one example of a transaction how it has been analyzed i'll take one more example if you want to write you can write it i'm going to send the video don't worry about that shall i take another another example yes sir i'll take one more example for you ओके सो आय टेक वन मोर एक्झाम्पल येस रिसिव्हड कमिशन द एक्झाम्पल इज रिसिव्हड कमिशन rupees 150 from nitin received commission rupees 150 in cash i will correct my transaction in cash yes 
received commission 115 cash is one transaction in this financial transaction there are two aspects and what is the first aspect that we are talking about commission second is cash ya arthik vyavara madhe don ghatak important hai te manje kai adikani ek to commission hai ani dusra kai cash hai कैश ला तुम्हें हाथ लू शकता है तुम्हें चांगल लक्षा है तुम्हारा अकाउंट है रियल टाइम एंड युअर कमीशन इज लाइक वी आर रिसीविंग कमीशन मीन इनकम सो इट इज अमिडल अकाउंट सो इट इज अमिडल अकाउंट रिसीविंग कमीशन कमीशन इज वन एस्पेक्ट इन द ट्रांजेक्शन सो इट इज कमिंग अंडर नॉमिडल अकाउंट एंड कैश वी कैन टच सो इट इज अ रियल टाइमजेबल सो वॉट इज द रूल फॉर कैश युअर डेबिट वॉट कम्स इन सॉरी डेबिट what comes in and credit what goes out for nominal account what is the rule for nominal account the rule is debit all the expenses and losses and credit all the incomes and gains so received commission 115 cash now let's focus on cash received means cash is coming na no? Cash is coming in, so coming in means what? Debit. Coming in means what? Debit. So I'll debit cash. It is coming in. Now when I'm receiving cash as a commission, so commission is not an expense. It is income for me. So commission is a income. So I have to credit this. So I have to credit. So I have understood which account now has to be debited and which account has to be credited. So I have to debit cash account. So entry will be cash. Account debit one fifty two. What is other account? Commission two commission account two commission account one fifty being commission received. Narration will be being commission received. So this is how any transaction is been analyzed. Identify what are the two accounts involved in the transaction. Identify that. Classify to which category it will fall. Then write the rule of the account. After writing the rule of the account, analyze actually what is happening with the rule. Cash is coming or going in, and then tick mark, and then automatically you get the solution to the answer that what is the real accounting entry for this. Sir. Yeah. Yes. So if it was uh, from Nitin, then ah. which account it would have been? Okay, very good. So I'll correct this and I'll write the same new example over here. I'll take an example where. we are considering three names coming in the transaction yes a uh, request is there about a transaction how it will be written so the transaction is paid rupees 200 to mr nitin for auto fare so someone from the office is traveling to pune or any other place and he has paid the auto fare to a driver called Nitin, Ola cab driver, whatever. The amount paid is 200. Now, if you focus on this transaction, there are three aspects over here. There are three aspects, and the aspects is paid means your cash is understood. You're paid, but cash is silent. So cash is one aspect, Nitin is second aspect, and auto fare is third aspect. So in cash transactions, my dear students, please remember, we never focus on the person to whom we have paid the cash or receives the cash. He is only a mediator. He is only an agent of receiving or giving the cash. He is only a person who is going to receive the cash or pay the cash. So in a cash transaction, when a person's name is included, we have to forget, we have to ignore the person's name in that. 
and you need to continue with the other transaction. So in this transaction, what is there? Cash is there and auto fare is there. So in auto fare, in accounts, we call it as conveyance. In accounts, the auto fare, the Ola fare, bus fare is called as conveyance for accounting purposes. Now, what about cash? Can we touch cash? Yes. So cash is what account? Real tangible. And auto fare conveyance. Conveyance is what? We are paying auto fare. We're not purchasing the auto rickshaw. We're paying for the expenses. So conveyance is expense. Expense means which account? Nominal account. Then what is the rule for nominal account and what is the rule for real account? The rule for real account is debit what comes in. And credit what goes out. In nominal account, what is the rule? Debit all the expenses and losses and create all the income set gains. So when we are paying cash to the auto driver, what is happening? Cash is coming or going out? Cash is going out. Cash is going out. And when we're talking about paying the auto bill, then it is expense. So it is debited. So what is the entry in that case? Debit has to be convince. So the entry would be convince account debit. Convince account debit 200 to cash is going out to cash account 200 being cash paid to auto. Being cash paid to auto. So this would be the entry in that case. So in a cash transaction, my dear students, we will never focus on the person. If I ask my office staff to go to a shop and buy a pen for me, so I will not write the office staff's name in the books of account. I will not write the shopkeeper's name who receives the cash. I will ignore both the parties who are receiving and giving cash. One thing is there from my office cash is going out and second I'm purchasing stationery. So the transaction will have two components, stationery and cash. And repeat, if I'm asking my staff to go down and purchase a pen for me, in that case, the staff who is going down and the person on the other hand who is collecting the cash, both the persons will be ignored in the transaction. Cash is going out, expenses are being incurred. That is very important. So this is how the transactions will be done. Next. One more example we'll take. Sir? Yes, please. Sir, so any example with personal account means anything that will help us identify? Immediately. Yes. A transaction with a personal account or a person who is involved and his name is included. Yes, I will write it. Purchased computer of rupees twenty five thousand from VJ Sales Corporation. VJ Sales Corporation. So in this transaction, we are purchasing a computer of 25,000 and we are purchasing from VJ Sales. Now, one thing is very sure from this transaction. Is it very clear that we paid the money to VJ Sales? In this transaction, is it mentioned that yes. we have paid for that? No, we have purchased, but we are not paid. In this transaction, please remember we have purchased a computer, but nowhere in this whole sentence, there is a signal that we paid the money. So this transaction is a sort of credit transaction where payment is not made immediately. And the person, the other party who is involved in this is Vijay Sales Corporation. So in this transaction, there are two components involved. One is computer and second is Vijay Sales Corporation. Computer you can touch, so it is real tangible. And Vijay Sales Corporation is a company made by person. So it is a personal account. So it is a personal account. So what is the rule for real account? Real account rule is debit what comes in. What is the rule? Debit what 
comes in. And what is the other rule then? Create what goes out. And here for personal account, what is the rule for personal account? Debit the receiver and create the giver. So I'll write here, debit the receiver. And next is credit the giver. So what is happening now in this transaction, purchasing computer bills, purchase computers coming in or going out? It is coming in. Computer is coming in. Yes. So it is debit. And who is supplying the computer? Vijay Sales is not receiving anything. On the other hand, is giving us the computer. So he's a giver. So one debit and another credit. So what is the entry for this? Computer account debit. The entry would be computer account debit 25,000. To the person supplying is Vijay Sales Corporation. 25,000 being computer purchased on credit being computer purchased on credit this is the entry and transaction for this so this was a bonus lecture i had already completed this but i hope you have understood to some extent